A follower asked for a video on social mixing scoring and asked what if that meant. Uh, and I realized in the last video, I didn't really explain it. So that's a really good point. So today's video is all going to be about the concept of social mixing scoring. So uh, social mixing scoring is a term that I came up with in kind of early 2020, which is an early intervention approach to minimize dis disease spread, but without like a huge amount of technology investment and without huge disruption to how people go around at their normal lives. So it's it's like an alternative or an additional thing we could do uh, in addition to digital contact tracing or full lockdowns. Uh, the basic premise is that, you know, people catch pathogens from other people. So if we can slow down that rate of transmission, um, then it gives us time to react to an outbreak or a pandemic to either slow it down or stop it. Uh, social mixing scoring is the idea of using your own phone to determine how much mixing you're doing with other people. So we're not looking at who you're meeting with. We're not trying to trace contacts. We're just giving an individual an idea of uh, how much social activity they're doing. So if you think about it, it's the socializing equivalent of using a step counter. So you use a step counter to figure out how much exercise you're getting. It won't be 100% accurate, but it doesn't need to be. It's just giving you yourself an idea of how much you're doing. Uh, the alternative to social mixing scoring is being told that either you're free to fully mix or you, your friends are, are locked down. Either you're locked down as an individual due to manual or digital contact tracing, or you're locked down as a community due to local or national uh, lockdown policy. Now, social mixing scoring isn't an alternative to these things. It's just like an extra arrow in our quiver uh, to try and stop pathogen spread. So I like to think of it as like a seatbelt. Now, we know a seatbelt isn't the only way a car is going to stop you from dying in the event of a crash. Uh, and it may not even be as good as full front, side and rear airbags. But just because it isn't the best safety feature on your car doesn't mean that we don't want it there in the event of an accident. Uh, same with social mixing scoring. And conversely, people still die in car crashes, even with seatbelts, but you don't rip out seatbelts in every car because somebody died in a car crash whilst wearing a seatbelt. It's just one of many features to keep us safe. Um, and that's what social mixing scoring could be. It won't stop a pandemic, uh, but it might give us enough breathing room to minimise the need for lockdowns or for other interventions. So, to the diagram. Okay, so how does social mixing scoring work? Well, there are many approaches, but let's talk Bluetooth, low energy, four and above, because pretty much everyone's phone's got Bluetooth, right? And this is what we use in the Herald project as well. The basic principle is that phones with Bluetooth uh, tend to be on all the time, and they're, uh, you know, being used for audio or to connect to your car, to your smart speaker, um, or whatever. And, you know, it's not like when your phone's got these things turned on, it's saying, hey, I'm an audio server or, or whatever. But every phone, whether it's an Android or iOS phone, will advertise at least once a second, normally up to kind of five times a second, okay? Um, so you are able to detect that. Um, and this is a bit different from digital contact tracing in that digital contact tracing required every phone, uh, you know, both sides of the contacts to have the same app in order to work. Social mixing is gone doesn't. You can just have it you know, installed on this one phone here, and then you can use the signals that it sees just to provide a score on this phone, uh, which is great. So it's, it's a lot easier, has a lot more immediate impact. You can be the only person in your town with it on and still benefit from it. Okay, so let's say um, we've got these devices here. Now you can filter the obvious ones out. So, you know, this TV down here, we can tell it's like an Apple TV, so we can filter that out. So we're not you know, accidentally say you're socializing with the television, although many of us pretty much do do that. Um, so what we're looking at is we're looking at the strength of these signals from this phone to determine, you know, a rough approximation uh, for distance, okay? Um, now the formula you use, you know, is debatable, but typically uh, a kind of a good uh, example is for, you know, as distance increases, um, your kind of risk score per minute um, drops off. So it's kind of an exponential decrease, okay? And what this means is, say this contact here is, uh, say that's two meters, okay? And this contact here is, say, four meters. That might mean that, you know, uh, th this is two meters here um, with a particular score. Say for argument's sake, that's a 10. 
Uh, whereas this guy's at four meters to so say that's that's down here and that gives you you know an equivalent risk score of uh, you know much less than that so it might be for example kind of two so you know you could go from like or so, or say even better let's go from like eight to two right so you've doubled the distance but you've got a, a quarter um you know get rid of that there you've got a quarter of the risk so that's how the exponential drop off works okay uh, now different phones have got div different strengths of transmission and different uh, receive strengths there's math you can do to get around that i've got a paper drafted on that but let's just say we work around those issues uh, and really you don't we're not building a digital tape measure here right i'm you know i'm talking distance in two and four meter terms just to make it easy to understand but we don't really need to know it's exactly two meters or four meters because it's just a, a relative score for this person they know how much They've been out in the last week, so they know the difference between 16,000 points and 8,000 points a week for themselves. Okay, so that's that's what we're doing. Um, so, you know, as I'm going around my business show on the day, I'm totaling these scores up, you know, on a, you know, per 15 second or per minute basis. Uh, and then what I can do is I can kind of total these up during the day. So let's say during... Um, you know, a, a typical day, I might kind of get up in the morning, there might be a few people about the house, so I've got a low score, and then I kind of, um, I go to work, and then this kind of goes up, I have kind of meetings with lots of people, and then at lunch I kind of go out, uh, and then I come back and I work in the office again, uh, and then maybe I kind of go out at night, uh, meet with lots of friends in a busy bar, so it might go up again, and then come back and, and then socialise with the family, and then go to bed, okay, so this is my, this is my graph for a typical day. Uh, so it kind of follows this type of trajectory, okay? Um, so like this. So that might be my my kind of scores for one day. Now, instead of saying, yes, you're totally free to go out and socialise, or no, stay at home and lock down, you might want to say, well, you know, just half your score. So you might say, well, okay, well, I'm going to go to work, um, but we're going to kind of maybe work from home for the morning. So maybe I have uh, kind of, you know, hardly any contacts there and maybe i i kind of eat in for lunch so again that stays down but then i kind of go out into the office in the afternoon um meet a few people there and then maybe in the evening instead of kind of going out to a busy club and like throwing out shapes instead of doing that i just you know we all go to bob's house so there's just a few of us so my scores less i'm still socializing i'm still working all right um but you know, I'm minimising my score. And that could be the difference between, you know, a 16,000 per day score um, and, you know, a kind of 5,000 um, per day score. And that's what we're trying to do, really, is we're trying to minimise that score and, and give people uh, the choice themselves. So now what we have, we have the ability to say to people, hey, instead of all is fine, I'll go and lock down, we can just ask you to kind of minimise your score. Uh, so that gives us a nice halfway house. So, so that might be, so that's basically the idea, you know, it's like a, a step counter for socializing, step counter for social mixing, and it allows people themselves to make more informed personal decisions about socializing um, with the hopes of reducing the spread of novel pathogens uh, and reducing the need for national or local lockdowns. So I hope you found that video interesting. It's just a kind of intro. Um, if you do, please comment and subscribe to this channel. And let me know if there's any other topics you want me to talk about, whether it's about pathogens or databases or any other tech topic. But have a great day. I hope to see you again soon.